We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Cleveland Indians and the Philadelphia Phillies. Now at the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. For Cleveland, the second baseman, Cesar First delivery to him on the way. Nope. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Seven o'clock. Breaking balls in there that time. One and one. Not a bad night to bring the parka along. 54 degrees at game time. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Drilled to first. Hoskins grabs it cleanly. And he is out on the tag. Now with the plate, Francisco Lindor. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the pitch. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. And that one is gone. That is third. The At third the plate, three. Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez. As the first oh, pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, one and one. One and two now, as this catches the outer half. To two balls and two strikes now. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Lined is short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. First pitch coming, here it is. Now the 0 2 pitch. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger, and the side is retired. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The pitch. Andrew. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and oh. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Left fielder looking up. In now, Alec Bohm. Third baseman. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line and left. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. He's around first, heading for two. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. 
in the dirt here. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. And now it will be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. JT Real Muto. And the Phillies trying to make this first Real inning even Muto. better here. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. Real Muto drives the ball with the best of them when facing right-handed pitching like this, but there is some swing and miss in his game. Some would say it's a little bit of an all-or-nothing approach at times. I think in today's game you can live with it. The three true outcomes, home or strikeout or walk, Bottom line is, when he does put the ball in play, he changes the scoreboard. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Two on here with one man out. And into bat next, the legacy, Bo Bichette. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This one is launched. Look at this. Into the second deck and gone. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He definitely doesn't look himself to start this one. And this lineup needs to be on the attack early. Hit hard to the right side. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. Now the 2-1 pitch. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots, and now he's at 3-1, and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Now the three and two pitch. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. The first baseman, three. From the stretch. Four runs here in this half inning. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. Count is one and two now. Now a swing as he stays alive as this is fouled back right off the catcher's arm. Hmm. And he chased it in the dirt. And in steps Scott Kingery. He represents the eighth man to bat here in the first with four runs already on the board. And that misses for ball one. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Into the box, Kyle Garlick. Hard on the ground towards short. He's got it. The easy way to Hernandez to retire the side. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1 and 0. Oh. Look out. 2 and 0 oh now. You know, sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Ball's behind in the count 2 and 0. Oh. It's time to start getting locked in. 3 and 0 oh to him now. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Bichette's got it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Ready now, Josh Naylor. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Naylor. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Oh, 
rip down the first base line. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Fouled off. Another try at 2 2. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Tried to backdoor him and lock him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch, but he didn't quite get it to come back all the way to the corner. That's tough to do for most guys. Popped him up. Bichette takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Stepping in, Jordan Luplo. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And Bichette's got it. The side is retired. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the press run and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And that misses inside 1-0. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball two. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. A 3-1 count to the Phillies' left fielder. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. So next to the plate for the Phils, Alec Bohm will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that will bring up Bryce Harper. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is DeShields. And he's able to get there on the long run. And he covered a lot of ground there as the side. Top of the third set to get underway. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Roberto Perez. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guy's aboard with a base hit. The relay throw, and now he'll try and scurry back to first, but the throw rings him out to dry. Bad base running mistake there for route number one. And here's the second generation big leaguer, Delino DeShields. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. At the plate now, Cesar Hernandez. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now back. So here's Francisco Lindor now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits. But he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. That one's in there on the black two and one. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. 
No shame in tipping your hat. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, that's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are now two away now. First pitch okay. coming. Here it is. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. Harper looks up, and that one is gone. Here's Pete Alonzo. As he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Here's the 1 1. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Full count, three and two to the Indians' DH. Now the three and two pitch. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. of the third now and in steps the catcher JT real Muto ready with the first pitch here it comes real Muto high fly ball out to straightaway center De Shields is there one down So one gone here in the Philadelphia third. And in the bat next, the legacy, Bo Bichette. Very rarely, Matt, you see a first pitch changeup hit out of the ballpark. That tells me right now that this guy was up there looking for the changeup in that last at bat. We'll see if they pitch him any differently here. A ball and a strike. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. The one two. High in the air out towards shallow right. Right fielder coming on. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up Didi Gregorius. First delivery to him on the way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. And he buries a breaking ball that time. Good pitch, and it's 0-2. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run him out of here. But now he's close to posting two shutout innings as a response. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught out of their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. set for the start of the fourth and set to go is the veteran first baseman Carlos Santana first pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball it's one and oh well it's been a rough one so far four runs through three innings it's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long one ball one strike the count halfway to 100 pitches here it is lifted in the air to center field Kingery is there, and he has it for the first out. Digging in to try it again, Josh Naylor. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Blake Parker, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
Strike one to start the at bat. Four runs, five hits, and one error in the ball game for Cleveland so far. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. The 1 2 is taken for ball two. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still 2 and 2. Not surprised he's late on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. On the ground to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Runner at first following the error. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Jordan Luplo. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And he takes this one high, one and one. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next, the dangerous power threat, Reese Hoskins. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. Now that the better fielder. So now to the plate, Scott Kingery. And it's fouled away. One for one after a single this first time up. Comes set and the 0-1. And this is on the ground is short. Could be two. There's one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Digging in for his second at bat, Kyle Garland. Kyle. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And there he goes towards second. And this one's in the dirt. Oh, and this is low, and it won't be dug out. So he picked the right pitch to run on there, and he's in at second base with a stolen bag. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Lays off the circle change there, a ball and a strike. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Perez has it. Throw goes over to third. And a good decision on the throw as he is meet at third base. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that will bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. He's set and the pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. I know that fastball registered at about 92-93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 2-2. This is popped up. Santana has room in foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Line towards center field. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Now batting. The third baseman. To the plate now, Alec Bohm. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Grounder down the line at third. 
Throw on to first is in time. The Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. Now with the plate, Roberto Perez. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. And this one misses to the Cleveland backstop. It's even at a ball and a strike. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Fouled away. The one two gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. One man out now in the Cleveland fifth. And up to bat next to Lino DeShields. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now the pitch shows bunt as he gets this one down. Throw not in time, and that'll go as a bunt single. Standing in now, Cesar Hernandez, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. A hit in two tries for going, him so going, far. Going. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside the. Th and no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. The Shields leads off second with one gun in the inning. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field, but it bangs off the out of town scoreboard. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. 0 oh, 1, here's the pitch. Boy, in a perfect spot for the splitter there. It's 0 oh, 2. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But this is taken in on the warning track as the runner will tag from second. And he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. Now at the plate, Jose Ramirez comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Five runs, seven hits, and one error in the ball game for Cleveland so far. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. Fouled off. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. He lays off, and that's outside, ball four. They're at the corners now here with two away. Next for the Indians is the designated hitter, Pete Alonso. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Here comes the first pitch. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. To the track, to the wall, and off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So now Carlos Santana seared down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Bryce Harper. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And he fouls this one off. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Up with it, Perez. And the throw is there to record the first out. 
Next will be the, the cleanup hitter, JT Real Muto. It was a flyout for him in his last Real trip. Muto. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Hot shot on the ground is short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, two gone. In now, Bo Bichette comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Line towards center field. The Shields is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And digging in is the outfielder, Josh Naylor. First delivery to him on the way. All one, no strike. Now the 1-0. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone to lead off the inning. The right fielder, number eight, Jordan. Sir Anthony Dominguez takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. In now, Jordan Luplo. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. McCutcheon is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Digging in, Roberto Perez. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. First pitch of the at bat. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. One out, nobody on. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Now that is the seventh year. First pitch of the, the at-bat on its way. Bunt attempt is popped into foul ground. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, bang. So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. And, and he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, 1-1. One Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Three and one to him now. And it's fouled away. Two men are on with two men out. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. And a pitch up and in, keeping him honest, 1 and 1. Looking to minimize the damage here. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead, 1 and 2 now. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. Digging in now, Didi Gregorius comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 
And right into the shift. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth. And that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. Popped him up. Santana is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Coming to the plate now, Scott Kingery. He's one for two in the ball game. Kingery. First offering on its way. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. Now batting. The designated hitter, Kyle Garlick. Into the box now, Kyle Garlick. He swings and grounds it to short. Reined in. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Seventh inning ready to roll, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. Hits ball one. That's by him for strike one. Now here's the pitch. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Two and two. This right-handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two-seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. Skied into very shallow right. Harper has a read on it. He's got it one away. At the plate, Carlos Santana. He was a ground-out victim last time up. And he'll miss the target away with the fastball. It's 1-0. Oh. Santana in front with a 2-0 and oh count. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. I love that pitch right there. An aggressive fastball that catches the corner. The hitter knew it was coming and still couldn't do anything with it. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Bases are empty. One man out. Pulled toward right center field. Kingery will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Digging in, Josh Naylor is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Here comes the first pitch. On the corner at the knees, 0-1. Oh A shot down the first baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. Your attention, please. New pitcher set to take over now. It's the right-hander Sergio Romo that gets the call. Leading off the inning, Andrew McCutcheon, and they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch on its way. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Behind 0-2 now. 
Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a swing and a miss and McCutcheon is set down for route number one. Now that ready once again Alec Bone. He was retired via the ground ball last oh. time up. First pitch of the at bat. Popped him up. Hernandez over to his left makes the play and there are two gone now. Standing in Bryce Harper. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah he didn't put up much of a fight either Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And the sinker is over here and that evens things at one. Fouled away. Change up and that fades down and away two and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. Settling in now Jordan Luplo. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Jordan. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, gotta believe that pitch is coming again right here. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's 1 and 2. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. The count now at 2 and 2. Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. And it's gone as they add still another. The catcher. At the plate now, Roberto Perez. Hard hit ball to second. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Up next for Cleveland, the center fielder, the liner, the field. Adam Morgan comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Stepping in now, Delino DeShields, as he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. Morgan is among a dying breed, those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. And this is going to work out for him. It's an infield single to make it first and second now. The second baseman, Pedro Hernandez. So now to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. That's popped up. Harper coming on. He can't get there as it falls in. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. At the plate, Francisco Lindor. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Still a ball and two strikes. Here he comes again, one, two. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Now that third base. So coming to the plate, okay. Jose Ramirez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Popped him up. Hoskins is over now and he's got it for route number two. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. 
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Two out, bases loaded. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Oh. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 oh count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. From the belt, kicks and deals. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2-1 pick is swung out and missed for strike number two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that brings up JT Realmuto. Billy, the catcher. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Ready with the 0-1. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the move is DeShields. He's there and records the first down. Ready for another shot now, now. Bo Bichette. The second baseman. Bo. Yes. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a big oh, fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly oh, broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Pitch on the way. Liner toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Now batting. Not short stop. Here's, Here's Didi Gregorius. Red As the first pitch oh, misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. 2 and 0. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the. And that's a fair ball as it's through into right field. Now this is cut and thrown to first. And now he throws on the brakes, but he can't get back to first, and he's nailed for the second out. Big mistake there. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Ball one taken just off the inside. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Men on third with two down. Fouled off. Frozen on the fastball. Never had a chance. And the inning is over. set to start the ninth in this one and next to bat will be the first baseman Carlos Santana Carlos Santana becomes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. When you You're down six on the mound. You got at least throw strikes here. The 2 0 on the way. Now he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now that the left field, Josh Miller. Hector Neris, a six-foot-two-inch right-hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. To the plate now, Josh Naylor. 
A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. The right fielder, number eight, Jordan Luplo. Into the box, Jordan Luplo. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Neris has some of the absolute best strikeout stuff in the game today, at least among bullpen arms. His strikeouts per nine is a number that's usually through the roof. This guy was tailor-made, Matty V, to be a relief pitcher. He comes out of the bullpen, guns a blazing. Throw not nearly in time as he reaches it first. The catcher, number 55, Roberto. Standing in now, Roberto Perez as he'll try to hold back on the swing but he went around for the first strike two hits in four attempts to this point high fly ball out to straightaway center Kingery is right there one down digging in once again Delino De Shields trying to keep it going a perfect three for three thus far runs up and gets this one down uh, this gets foul it's 0 and 1 from the belt kicks and deals he'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down and a wise decision there to make sure this ball stays foul and that's the second strike and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield he lays out for it but he can't pull it in and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The batter at the plate now Cesar Hernandez and on the first pitch he grounds foul. Ready with the nothing in one pitch lifted in the air out towards left center long run for the center fielder he makes the catch and tagging is the runner from second and he'll take those extra 90 feet so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. Digging in, Francisco Lindor, and their runners at the corners now. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Center fielder going back, still going back. And goodbye, this one ain't coming back. Up next to Cleveland, the third base into the box now Jose Ramirez as he'll take a look at a pitch too low it's ball one in his last at bat he popped out in foul ground one and one the count now now here's the pitch when he's pitching effectively usually that two seam fastball is moving quite a bit but here it's just kind of flat and straight could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. He's fallen behind now, three and one. There's ball four. Next will be the designated hitter, Pete Alonzo. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And he fouls this one off. The 0 1. Skied into straightaway right. Harper has a read on it. And that ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen. New pitcher to tell you about, and it's a guy drafted number six overall out of North Carolina in 2006, the six foot six inch lefty Andrew Miller. All set for the bottom of the ninth, and that'll bring up the former first rounder, Scott Kingery. No balls in one strike. Kingery. Oh, one, here's the pitch. High in the air out to center field. The Shields is there, and he's got that all-important first out here to start the ninth. Striding forward now is the DH, Kyle Garlick. 
He was a ground out victim last time up. Oof, looks like he's chasing butterflies with that swing. It's 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. The left fielder, number Phillies down to their final Andrew. out now. And that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Philly down to their last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail-biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 15 to 4 the final in this one Cleveland posted 15 runs in this one Michael Walker is the winning pitcher of record so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the